So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Now, as you can see, this is a new tab. This is the preset which I am talking about. Let's import our video into the project. You can use the image as well. Place them onto the timer line, then go to around 2 seconds position, and make sure all layers are selected. Now press Ctrl, Shift D, to split them, and hit the delete key, to delete the extra part. Now select all three layers once again, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select sequence layers. Hit OK, and it will align your video clips right next to each other. This transition pack comes with over 1600 transitions, the list is so huge. Let's see how can we apply these transitions. Simply go to the point between two layers, then grab any transition, and place them onto the timeline. It will apply the transition immediately. And this is how it will look now. Cool. Right now, we are going to use the in. So let's click on it. And then place the transition. This marker in the middle, should match with the cut of the video. So make sure it is placed right between your video clips. Check the animation, and now you will see a difference. You can increase or decrease the speed, or duration of any transition, by clicking on this time icon. You can make it faster, or even slower. I am choosing the default speed. Also, you can adjust the motion blur of any transition. I am switching motion blur amount to 0%, to find out the difference. Again, go to the starting position of the third layer, and add any transition on your timeline. See, we don't have any motion blur at all. So let's delete it, then go to the transition setting, and switch the motion blur value to 100%. Apply the same transition on it, and see, now we have the motion blur. Cool. You can also add multiple transitions on the same clips. And it will create a new transition. Let's go to the offset folder, and choose a transition here. Let's place it right on top of the first transition. Now we have both transitions applied right onto our video clips. Cool. See how easy and fast it is. And now I am going to apply target zoom. This is one of the famous transition, which is getting famous from few years. As you can see, this target zoom transition is now zooming in from the center of the image. This looks good. But in case, you want to change the center of this zoom, you can do it easily, just by one click. Simply click on this target icon. Then go to your footage, and click on this location, where you want to place the center point. And then it will follow the same center point. Also, we need to add the end center point as well. You can place it anywhere you want, but I am going to place it into the same point, as the last one so that the transition will look symmetrical. And done. We did it in just a few clicks. Sayonara.